Chicago is a city that's famous for its blues. Unfortunately, a lot of young people aren't familiar with the blues as an art form. I wanted to introduce them to this great musical genre, so I sat down with a group of first graders at the <laughs> Francis Xavier Ward Elementary School right here in Chicago, and we learned a lot together. Check it out. This is what we're going to do. We're going to play the blues today, and you guys are going to help me write some Chicago blues songs. Does that sound fun? Yeah. yeah. Now, here's what we do. To write the blues, you write about something that's making you unhappy. And by singing about something that makes you unhappy, it makes you feel better or makes you feel much worse. Yeah. <laughs> so what I want you to do is think about something that kind of bothers you about your everyday life. Summer, what makes you kind of grumpy? When I think about how my sister took my teddy bear when I was probably be three. Your sister took your teddy bear when you were three? Well, me and my sister were playing around, but then she took it. So she took your teddy bear. How long did she keep it for? Well, actually, she sort of like dropped it off the bed, but I cashed it. <laughs> Wait a minute, your story's changing. You went from your sister stole your teddy bear, which is a great blues song, by the way, to your sister didn't really take your teddy bear, just pushed your teddy bear off the bed and you caught it. I'm gonna be honest with you, Summer, this isn't the most terrible story I've ever heard. And I've heard some bad things. What's that? It is where you live it. <laughs> Do you have any things in your life that make you irritated sometimes, like? a brother that bothers you, or a kind of food you don't like? Um, edamame. Edamame? Wow, we didn't even have edamame when I was a kid. That's a food that kids don't like that was invented. My mom and sister love edamame. So this is the great tragedy of your life. My sister and my mother eat edamame, and I don't like it quite as much as they do. That's a blues song right there. In fact, it's been recorded in 1948 a little-known label that went defunct. Because all the songs are about edamame. People at my table tease me because I don't get chocolate. You don't get to have chocolate? My mom doesn't pack with me with chocolate on Wednesdays since I have cold lunch on Wednesdays. Is there any day you're allowed to have chocolate? On Friday. That's dessert day at, at school, so yeah. One of the greatest things about the blues, one of the greatest themes is the man keeping you down. And this is the man keeping you down. And my sisters are weird. And your sisters are weird? <laughs> my mom, she said absolutely no chocolate at school. Every time I open up my lunchbox, I feel just like food. It's the one sole exception to the rule. Go, Tommy! Do you know what the blues are? A little bit, yeah. What do you know about the blues? That, um, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened there? What just happened to you? Nothing. You just were in the middle of talking and then you bent over backwards and you almost split in half. Does that happen to you sometimes? You're talking to someone and all of a sudden your no. lower back just gives out? No. Because that's young. Seven is young to have lower back failure. What, what, what bothers you when you go to school? Um, on the playground, we go and we try and play, but we only end up talking about what we want to do, and, and then school's over and we wow. leave. So you never even get a chance to play because you Barely. spend... Oh, further. Oh, I think you... Whoa! Oh. Are you okay? Your brother's annoying. What's your brother's name? Joshua. Joshua, and what does he do that annoys you? Um, he once threw a ball at my neck. He threw a ball at your neck? Yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah. What did you do? Um, I just fell to the ground to wait till it was over. That's my defensive strategy as well. That's what I always do when attacked. I fall to the ground and wait for it to be over. What else? A lot of times, somebody does a slam dunk and the ball lands right on my head. I'm noticing that a lot of your fears involve a ball striking your head or your neck. People just always throwing balls at you? Sometimes over the fence. 
I think if a kid right now in China threw a ball, it would somehow land on your head, wouldn't it? I don't want to go to China, because... You don't want to go to China? I'm afraid that I'll say a word that means something mean in English, and then I'll get beat up. Wow. That's a very original fear. Congratulations. My name's Nathaniel, and I'm the saddest boy of all. guy, aren't you, Leo? Yeah. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah. Are they nice to you? Yeah. Are they sometimes not so nice to you? Yeah. This police interview will be over shortly. We just need to ask you <laughs> a few more questions. Sometimes he, um, he throws stuff at me. What does he throw at you? Balls and footballs. There's a boy I was talking to, and everyone's always throwing a ball at him. I think he's in my class. Is it Nathaniel? Nathaniel. Everywhere he goes, someone throws a ball. I swear, I think if they... If uh, the space shuttle released a ball in space and it fell on Earth, it would hit Nathaniel on the head. It would just kind of like hurt for a second, but right. then it would like get better. Like if you get hit by a uh, softball, yeah. I don't get softball. It's softball, but the ball is not soft at all. And, and if it hits you... This is a Seinfeld routine. This is incredible. That was great. That was observational comedy. I'm going to get you in a comedy club tomorrow. You should do 10 minutes on this. It's really funny. It's good. What's with these softballs? They say they're soft, but when they get hit with them, they really hurt. What's with that? 